The process of making coffee has always been an important part of my morning routine. I love the meditative aspect of just slowing down, taking a few minutes out of your day to exist and be in the current moment. Ideally, the best cup of coffee will come from freshly roasted beans from a local roaster. But if you don't have access or on a tighter budget, there's no need to worry. I found that even budget grocery store coffee beans, if freshly ground and brewed correctly, will still create an excellent cup. I'm using a Bodum Bistro burr grinder that I picked up a few years ago on a medium setting. If your grind is too coarse, you won't get enough extraction from the coffee, and if it's too fine, you'll end with more of a bitter, sour taste. Once your coffee is ground, you'll want to prepare your hot water and place your filter. When unfolding your filter, you'll want to leave a single ply on the opposite side of the spout and the other three towards the spout. Before getting started with the brew, I like to prime my thermos with hot water. This helps retain the heat longer throughout the day. I'm still using the 16 ounce Zodrushi thermos every day that I've spoken about in years prior. I love the minimal design and the fact that it's the best performing thermos I've ever worked with. Next, you'll want to soak your filter and preheat your Chemex with the hot water. This helps remove any unwanted tastes from the paper filter and also helps warm the carafe for your coffee. Once the water is fully drained through, give it a little shake to warm up the glass, discard it, and place your coffee grounds directly in the center of the filter. You'll need a scale to brew properly with the Chemex, but you won't need to break the bank. The one I'm using here was a budget Amazon scale that I picked up many years ago and works perfectly. After you zero out your scale, this is what's called blooming the coffee. You'll want to gently pour about 75 grams of water over your coffee grounds, making sure to coat them entirely. This blooming process releases the excess gases from the coffee and allows for better extraction and less of a sour taste in your final brew. Some scales will have built-in timers, but I've found that the phone app works just as well. This process will take about 30 to 40 seconds, and then you'll want to pour another 300 grams of water over your grounds in small, concentric circles. We'll be using a total of 750 grams of water for our 45 grams of coffee beans. The original 75 grams for the bloom, plus this 300 grams, totals half of our total water. You'll want to test different water temperatures based on the coffee beans that you're using, but I've found around 200 degrees Fahrenheit works best for most everything. Once you've hit 375 grams on your scale, you'll want to let the coffee sit and drip through until you reach around the two or two and a half minute mark. Then again, in slow concentric circles, pour the remaining 375 grams of water. A gooseneck kettle is typically best for a Chemex system like this, but I'm using a Cuisinart temperature controlled kettle that I purchased about 8 years ago that I have no reason to get rid of. The entire brewing process typically takes between 5 and 6 minutes. After you've poured all of your water and your coffee is completely brewed, discard your coffee grounds and filter. Now all that's left to do is to pour a cup and start your day with the right energy and mindset to tackle your goals. I hope you all enjoyed this one and had an excellent holiday season while I was away. I'd love to hear about your coffee routine down in the comments. Thank you all for watching and have a good one.